Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. I'm Fee, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm in Tasmania in Australia. So if you are in Australia and you don't currently have a stamping up demonstrator, you can pop over to my blog and have a look for my link. It's craftwithfee.com. Okay, so today is Wednesday, which means it is tag making day. So a friend of mine, Narelle Fasulo, and I are doing a 52 tags challenge. And what that means is that every Wednesday we are making a tag and we're working our way through the alphabet twice. So today we're up to the letter E. Sometimes I'll choose something uh, like an envelope, E could be for envelope, lots of different things. But today I'm going with a complete package of products called Encircled in Friendship Bundle. So we're going to be using these gorgeous stamps and eyes. Um, they're right up my alley. They look like little lace doilies, which I absolutely adore. And there's some beautiful little sentiments on there as well. Um, there's one here that says, in a world where you can be anything, thank you for being kind. One of the most important things to me is kindness. Um, so that does mean a lot. Uh, just a note to let you know that someone thought of you today. Isn't that sweet? That's just beautiful. Uh, but we're going to be using the little one here. Uh, not, the, not that one. We're going to be using this one, I think. You're the best. But anyway, let's get moving. So as I mentioned, you will find those in the annual catalogue. Uh, they are a lovely set. I haven't seen a lot of projects with them, so I don't know whether or not people have skipped them or what. Now, as far as the colours go that we're going to be using today, I'm busting to use some of these gems. Uh, these are the garden gems, which have been released uh, on Tuesday, like yesterday, uh, as part of the Eden's Garden suite of products. But the gems and the papers um, are only limited stock. So once they've been sold out, that's it. You won't be able to get them again. So... Um, I may have stocked up on these because I really like them. <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. But anyway, that's why we're going with what we're going with today. Now, I have done a bit of the die cutting ahead of time because it's going to be quite a lot. Um, so, oops, I'm just looking for my silicone mat. Uh, so I'll show you what I've done. Now, when it comes to the dies, let me grab my stamp and die set. When it comes to the dies, there is... Um, two sheets of dies so you get all these beautiful little doilies we're going to be using this little fancy doily here I've already cut this one here is this beautiful piece of gold so that's already been used so I can pop that up there this one here can be used to cut out a circle in the middle of a card base or whatever uh, but if you use the matching die that goes with it it'll actually cut the edge out as well now, it is difficult to match up sometimes when you use dies like this. So I always, when I first get my dies like this, I always grab um, some nail polish and I pop a little dab on both pieces so that I can line them up when it comes time to do the die cutting. So what I did was I applied some uh, self-adhesive sheet to the back of some soft succulent and then I have cut out with both of the pieces here. Now that circle, I'm actually going to put that back in because it does cut the circle out. But I'm going to pop that back in when it comes time to do the little tag. Uh, but what I have done is um, done a background as well where I've just used this piece. Okay? Because I want the gold to come through my little bits around the circle here. I want them to be able to peek through. So um, I've got some of the soft succulent ribbon to go with it. I haven't decided yet in my brain how I'm going to attach that. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, and so what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to try to get all of the little bits out of this. So that's why I've got my silicon mat here. I like to use the silicon mat when I'm doing this because then I can just pick it up. Now because it's got the self-adhesive on the back, actually it might be easier for me to peel it and see how much of it comes away. Because sometimes that does all the work for you. And you've just got to poke out a few bits. Let's pray mm, that that's the case. It's pulling some out, but not all. So we still are going to have a little bit of pokey work here. But that will give us the opportunity to have a little chat. So, um, these beautiful new products that came out, the Eden's Garden ones that came out yesterday... As I mentioned before, they are only available while stocks last, except for the stamp and die. They will be in the new catalogue when that comes out in January. But yeah, the accompanying products won't be. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. And I know that the garden gems in particular have been super, super popular. 
Uh, so if you want them, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, don't delay. Order those. And they are in the colours of soft succulent, evening evergreen and gold. And so they are foiled papers. So a lot of the, well, all of the papers have foiling on them on one side and then you get a bit of more of a plain background on the other. And some of the papers have an ombre on the back of them, which will be really interesting to use. I'm looking forward to doing that. Now I do have uh, two make and take videos coming up. One of them is using Eden's Garden uh, because I send a free make and take kit out to my customers. Uh, so one of the kits I do a month goes to the customers that shop with me between the 1st and the 15th of the month. And then the other make and take kit go to the customers that have purchased in the latter part of the month. So the first part of the month, uh, they're going to be getting a general purpose card, not a Christmas card, but the Eden's Garden card is going to the customers that purchased from me in the second part of the month, and that is going to be a Christmas card. I didn't want to do all Christmas because I know that we also have to be making lots of cards for birthdays and things at this end of the year as well as dealing with Christmas. So, But if you purchased uh, both ends of the month from me, and there were a number of customers that did do that, well, they're going to be getting both kits. So that's really good. Um, and, of course, the other way to get both kits is to become a member of my team. So we have a, a lovely little active group of uh, team members. I think there's 13 of us. 14, counting me, I've got 13 ladies, and um, we do lots and lots of fun little challenges and things, we have a little team meeting video every Thursday night, we have lots of fun, it's really very much a friendship group, as well as a team group, so that is really lovely, and um, yeah, and they get, if they've uh, been active within the, each month, which means you you know you only have to buy a packet of dimensionals, really, um, they get the make and takes free of charge as well sent out to them. So it's a good way to try new products, so see what's going on. This has uh, been tiresome, hasn't it? I've got bits all over me. Uh, but it's going to be worth it, I promise. So, yeah, if you wanted to make sure that you're going to be getting my two make and take kits every month, join my team. It's pretty easy. Um... But we do have a new team joining offer starting tomorrow and it's going to be that you can join for $130 instead of $169 and you can still choose $235 worth of products of your choice. So what a deal that is. So if you are interested or you just want to um, join to get the 20% discount, which you start off with initially, um, then you can do that as well, but you can still become a member of the team. It's a lot of fun. So just if you're not sure how to do that, you can uh, just pop me a message or you can just head straight over to my website, craftwithfee.com, and you'll see a link there in the right-hand column which says join my team and you'll see all, everything there. So all good. Very, very easy to, to do. Now I'm just going to get rid of all of that and then I'm just going to stick that down there for a moment while I get all these bits off my fingers. But as I mentioned, this is really going to be worth it. So we're going to just take the time to do it. Now, I just noticed I've got a couple of little circles in there still. We'll just poke those out. Okay. So now remember that you've got to get this matched up uh, right. So I'm just going to... Can you believe I've actually just got that straight on? I can't believe I did that. Anyway... That is matched up straight away. So that's really good. That saves that hassle. So as I mentioned, because I've used the self-adhesive sheet, that is going to glue straight down onto my background. How's that? Very, very cute. So I'm just going to use my bone folder just to make sure that it's all adhered down to the gold. Isn't that special? So, so special. Now I can see there now that I do have a couple of little circles that haven't left the building. So we'll just use our Take Your Pick tool, which is the best tool ever. I use it for so many different things. And that one does not want to leave its nice warm bed. Come on, out you come. There we go. 
beautiful. And there's another piece there that's just a bit wayward. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I could just layer that one up there now. Uh, which maybe I will do that. No, no, I won't. I'll go with my original idea and that was to put the circle back in. Just because I think, so. I don't want too much gold poking through. Just, I don't want it to overwhelm this next piece of gold that we're going to put on. So I will go ahead and pop this piece of soft succulent back in the centre. And there we go. Okay, so this piece here is the piece that I'm going to pop up onto some dimensionals. And I'm going to pop that in the centre. It's so ornate, this set, isn't it? It is just incredibly beautiful. And because I'm a shabby chic type girl, I love, you know, lots of doilies and lots of frilly bits and love all of those things. Uh, I just knew when I saw that annual catalogue that I was going to be buying this set because it's so pretty. And I have to admit, I haven't used it very much, so I need to... I really do need to. <clears throat> so this is going to look a little bit like a flower petal. Well, that's that was my thoughts on it. Um, it's going to yeah, look like a little bit of a flower petal. Now, I could pop a hole in there for some ribbon, but we'll think about that in a minute. I'll still think about that. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is a tiny bit of stamping. Now, I have another spare circle here of soft succulent, so I'm going to use that as my base. I'm just going to use an embossing buddy just to get rid of any static that there might be on my paper because I want to do a little bit of embossing here. Now we're going to use some Versamark. As I mentioned, we're going to use the You're the Best stamp. But what I want to do before I do that is I want to use some soft succulent ink and I've got the little flower stamp out of there. So I'm going to just grab a scrap piece of paper or I can do it on my background. I'm just going to stamp off and then I'm just going to stamp this flower sort of in the centre, just so it's behind the wording. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with my You're the Best and I'm going to try and get it sort of towards the centre. There like that. Okay. I'm hoping that's going to look okay. If it doesn't, we can start again. We can do something else. This is what doing videos is all about, isn't it? So I'm going to pop it into my gold embossing powder. And I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake over there. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've got it a tiny bit off center, I think, from that flower, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. It's hard to tell when, when you're doing embossing where you've got the ink on some colours. Okay, I think that's got it. So what I am going to do though is I am going to grab a little uh, paintbrush and I'm just going to just get rid of a bit of the extra powder. Even though I've used the embossing buddy, I do have a little bit of overhang there. Okay, so excuse the noise for a moment because we're going to use the embossing gun just to melt that powder. So if you haven't done embossing before, what the Versamark does is it's actually a sticky glue. So, uh, sorry, a sticky ink. And so it grabs the uh, powder. It's getting a bit hot on my fingers. Um, it grabs the powder and just hopefully it sticks to that area and then the heat gun melts the powder to give you a beautiful embossed image or wording or whatever it is so you can see there that I now have that beautiful embossed you're the best to go in the center so I'm just going to get rid of that now and we're going to bring in my little mini die cutter mini die cut stamp and emboss machine and we are going to use this beautiful little doily that I call, I call it a doily. I don't know what it is. And I'm just going to centre it over 
my wording and I'm going to grab a sticky note. Let me get my mini cutter bed out here ready. Okay, so we're going to just pop the sticky note on there just to make sure we're holding it in the right place. Go back, I haven't got my plate straight. There we go. And now because it's got a lot of little intricate pieces in it, I'm actually going to go forward and then I'm going to come back just to make sure that we get it all. And then I'm going to bring back in my silicon mat so I can collect all my mess. Gently pull off my sticky note. There we go. And then, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I love these little doilies. They're so cute. So I don't have much to poke out here, do I? It's all done. Look at that. Brilliant. So just running it through twice is probably the reason why it's done that, because, uh, yeah, it just helps. Okay. So, we're just going to pop a couple of dimensionals behind there. We are, I know it's going to be two layers of dimensionals, but it's a tag, so it's got to be special. It's going to go onto a special gift, so go with it. Okay, you're the best. What we're going to do is grab some of these special, special sparklies. Let's get them out of the pack. And hopefully you can see just how stunningly beautiful these are. Actually, what I might do first is just put our ribbon in. So this is the top of a tag, so we probably need to poke a hole in this one here. Um... And I'm just going to lift that doily up a little bit while I do it. I just don't want to get it in the wrong spot. I don't want to get it too close to the edge because it'll tear. And we don't want to go to all this trouble and then have a torn tag. That would be disastrous. Such a beautiful soft green this is. It's just like a misty green. So pretty. And I'm not a green lover, so there you go. For me to say it's pretty, it uh, certainly is. Okay, come on, behave yourselves. So I'm just going to be careful I don't pull that too tight because I don't, I really don't want to tear my stunning little circle. I'm going to cut those ends off, make them all pretty. And now we're just going to pop some bling on this. Now where shall we pop some bling? Well, I really, really love these little things here. So what we might do is just pop a couple of those on an angle, either side of our wording, just like that. Oh, so cute. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go a little bit over the top here. And I am going to pop one of these sparkly little tiny ones on every one of these little points here that has the circle that's cut out. So it's every second one. But hey, this is a special tag, so it requires special bling. And we buy these things so that we can use them, don't we? And there we go. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Let me get a plain piece of white card here for you so you can actually see how stunning this tag is. It is gorgeous. Anyway, that is my e-tag. Sounds like something that um, you would use in Melbourne or Sydney to get through a toll booth. But um, it is uh, encircled in friendship. 
So the Encircled in Friendship stamp set dies. There's a bundle. Uh, it's in the annual catalogue. If you want to purchase any of the items that you've seen me use today, you can go to my website, craftwithfee.com. There's a link to my store in the right-hand column along with a current host code, which, as I mentioned before, if you use the host code and you purchase from me, you will receive my make-and-take classes free of charge. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.